The Town of Thrall has had a new development proposal of 82 new units to refurbish the Coastal Arcade, formerly known as Thrall Plaza. This documentary proposal will cover why a documentary needs to be made about this subject. The proposal will explain the developers' plans for the new structure and how these plans will impact the township of Thrall, such as traffic congestion issues and how the developers are neglecting the heritage policies of the community of Thrall and the environmental issues the new structure will cause. The proposal will include interviews with long-time residents of Thrall and business owners to speak in detail about what they think about the new proposal. I was born in Cerule, so it's probably a place that's pretty close to my heart. So, yeah, I'd love to see something redeveloped over there. We need some new shops and maybe some office blocks and possibly 10 units or something like that. But the infrastructure of Cerule would never take 80 odd units. We're jam packed with traffic every weekend as it is, and no one can move. So, yeah. So, what do you think about the proposed structure of 82 units? It's just far too big, absolutely far too big for the amount of traffic, for the amount of um, infrastructure that exists now. It's just huge. It's, it's I don't know what 82 units equates to with um, traffic, but it used to be, you know, two cars per, per dwelling. I don't know, they'll try to keep that as low as they can, but you can't stop people buying vehicles. No, exactly. And we're not exactly living in a state with fabulous public transport, so people tend to have vehicles. We're not living in the inner city, so people do tend to have vehicles. And I think that's going to be one of the biggest fallouts from it, plus the time to build it and the disruption to the town is going to be enormous because it is so big. You know, it's not small. And I think the most important thing for me is how big it is in front of the mountain in the middle of the town and that it's going to cover the whole mountain so that's our whole landscape of the town gone mm. which is what everyone likes about the place so i think the design's really really ordinary and we deserve something like so much better why can't we have something really fabulous do you think that it's going to cause a lot more problems um, you know, for this area, it's already pretty congested. Trying to turn right out of here, for example, you know, at three o'clock is impossible. Um, so I can't even imagine if there's more people who are trying to come in and out, and get through here and whatnot. I just think it would just, it would just like clog up, you know, the whole area of the rule. And then I think that would kind of deter people from coming up here or trying to, to drive here or something like that. My production will be a uh, sole production. The documentary is called No with a question mark. The reason why it has a question mark after the no, it means to say that the people of Thrall are not against a development happening, but the question mark is there to say we want a development, but not such a mass development to be happening. This part of the, my proposal also speaks about transportation, the camera logistics, and getting to the film location and the accessibility of the film locations. The transportation, the train and bus service 90 with Dions and bus service 2 with Premier Coach Lines, stop outside of Thrall Plaza. The train station is only a two minute walk away making it easy and accessible for myself for filming. The town of Thrall is easy to get to, even in harsh weather conditions, it will still be okay for me to film indoors in the surrounding perimeters. The filming locations is predominantly in undercover. I'm also keeping it simple with my camera equipment and gear. All I need is a DSLR and a GoPro and a lapel microphone and a tripod a neutral density filter, one bag, I have a laptop and the Premiere Pro editing software program or an audition, I have these.
With a documentary like this and respecting class colleagues and their creative talents, I have decided to work on this documentary alone. This documentary is going to be filmed on shop locations, interviewing shop owners and managers. They would not like a lot of people coming in. A one-man setup will be practical for me and more mobile, and respecting the boundaries of the store owners. Allow me to act quickly, assembling the equipment and disassembling it. I've been to TAFE and I've completed much larger scale projects that have required me to do a lot of work in the similar structure. And for Nantian Institute, I've done films and graphic arts where it's required me to do a lot of editing on my own. Thank you.